Now we get to the unboxing. Ooh. A little bit of dust. A little stress mark right there. Hopefully that wasn't in shipping. Well, either way. It's the first blemish I noticed, but shouldn't be too <laughs> random. A lot of newspapers. A box. I believe this is... Mm. Never mind, there's nothing in here. Uh, either way, that's another box I can use. Uh, all the newspapers, again, if that's a sign of who this is from, then you guys already know. I'll have to clean up all this newspaper again. I'm going to try to at least keep it all contained to this one corner. And there's the bag door. Does it have a bag? Duh. Okay, so here it is. So, he also threw in the outer circular filter that was missing from the, well, you can't see it, but from the uh, Clean View 2 Deluxe, it was missing the outer circular filter, so that's here. He threw that in this box, so that way I could have that. He didn't really have to, but he did, so I really appreciate that. That's really nice. So, just throw that over there. I'll know where that goes to. And, of course, it has an Arm & Hammer bag in it. And another... <laughs> I like all the random stuff that's that's used to package this. That's that's really cool. Nothing in here. Just a random Hoover bag. So that I'll keep. Um, more newspaper. Something that just ripped. That's okay. It's just newspaper. I have so much newspaper. Just newspaper after newspaper after newspaper. Here's the handle. with the turbo brush and the turbo brush is very nice and clean does this have I'm gonna guess that the screw is driven through the back again yes it is even if worst case scenario wasn't I actually do have a spare screw that I ordered from Bissell so there's the turbo brush this is the revision 2 of this machine where the turbo brush caddy has this indent so you can pull it off easier and this part of the turbo brush is clear Whereas on my other turbo brushes, I believe this part is black, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, yes, so that's black. So this one's the first one I've had where this part is clear. I'm not sure why that little bit matters, but it's something to note. It, to note. So, again, here's the, and here's the bag door, and this will finally reveal what this is. <laughs> Isn't that nice? couple scratches on it, actually a few scratches, but I can get those off fairly easily. I usually just use the abrasive side of a sponge and that will clear up those scratches. The only thing is, is I've done that on black bag doors. I've not done it on a red one, so it'll be interesting. This seems to be a bit of a darker red than the, or the, actually a lighter red, actually. Um, or maybe, maybe like just a richer red than the 3537 which I do still have. I specifically kept the 3537 so that way I could do a comparison between it and the Power Glide Platinum on color. So we'll see. But yes, this is Power Glide Platinum. Of course, HEPA filtration. Bag change indicator, of course. You guys know this machine. It has all the best features of the Legacy Bissell platform based on, of course, the Power Glide and the Power Force, even though the Power Glide came first. This is, even though the Power Glide came first, this is essentially a Power Force 3522, but with the features. This is basically like like the love trial between a Bissell Cleanview Power Track and a 3522-5 Power Force. So. I was told this machine doesn't come with any attachments, which is fine. Since I will be selling the 3537 at some point, I'll use the attachments from that and just put them on this because obviously the only thing that this needs are the regular tools since it has the turbo brush this one's standing up in the box which is a little bit different than the clean view if I remember correctly oh crap I don't have a lot of recording space do I I might I might have to split this up or I might have to make this fairly quick actually I have two minutes left so this so I won't yeah 
pull this out. Here's the machine, which I can't pick up because it doesn't have a handle. Actually, let's grab the hose. So here's the hose. Clear deluxe stretch hose. There we go. And of course, the machine itself. And I'm going to have to stop this video and clear up some space before I continue this. But there it is. Okay, so the Power Glide Platinum is fully put together. It actually has a Arm and Hammer bag in there, which is conveniently the one that, you know, I have current stock of. I only have two left. Uh, once the ne it sucks because I'm trying to sell quite a few vacuums right now. I have way too many, and none of them have been selling. I'm trying to sell both these easy. Well, this one I'm giving to Juliet. Or, yeah, that one. This one I'm trying to sell literally for, for like, 5 or $10. Nobody wants it. And the problem is that this one is missing the, uh, the bottom plate. And I literally can't find stock of that bottom, of the sole plate anywhere. And I need that. So if someone knows where I can find a sole plate for a 3130, please let me know. Uh, back to this. Um, so once I get, you know, once I sell one of those machines, I'll use that money to buy a set of HEPA bags, Bissell Style 7 HEPA bags, because I found a deal. I want to do a review on it because people have been trying to find Style 7 HEPA bags forever. And I have this great, and I have I have found these great bags. I want to buy them so I can review them, and because they're a really good deal. You know, it's, it's like $18 for 20 HEPA bags. It's crazy. But either way, um... You know that that's that, and you know because I wanted because I I have have said people that I wasn't or I've said to people that I'm not going to do a demo of my 3522-5 my my one that I've had for 10 years until I find some HEPA bags because I don't want to get it dirty again, and that's a similar story with this, but at the same time, you know this for the demo I'll still run this I'll just run another vacuum through before it so that way I don't have to worry about this one picking up as much. Which I know that sounds weird, right? I'm, I don't want my vacuum to pick up anything. But <laughs> so this one has um, has an original HEPA filter, uh, just like with the Clean View 2 Deluxe. I don't think this one's ever been replaced, or at least it's been a little bit because this one is black with carbon dust. And well, there's not enough to where if I drop it, a bunch of dust flies out. So it's still somewhat serviceable. I really need to buy more of these filters because I need several of them. But yeah, so that's good. And of course, it has the same pre-motor filter as my 3522-5. It has the version that goes all the way throughout the bottom of the container. Um, in fact, show you. This has this filter, which you cannot see that. There you go. You can kind of see it. How that goes all the way across. That one's that's perfectly clean. The inside of this is fairly clean. You can tell it's been it was cleaned, and then it just got a little bit dusty from the one time that it was used. For Fan of Vacuums 2's demo, Fan of Vacuum 2's demo, if I can talk today, which I can't. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm very, very happy to have this. I, I have yet to turn it on. I mean, I know from the demo that it obviously works, unless it somehow got you know messed up in shipping, but I doubt it. One thing is that it didn't come with any attachments beside the turbo brush, just like the Clean View 2 did. So I actually took the attachments from the 3537. Um, and I put those on here, the exception being the crevice tool, because this crevice tool... Now, here's the thing I don't know about this machine. I don't know what crevice tool this originally would have came with, because whenever these first came out, the Power Glide Platinums first came out, which in, in around 2005, they used the same crevice tool that the Power Force and the Clean Views at the time used, the original Clean Views, which is the one that looked like this. So, it's very interesting, because Bitzel is manufacturing multiple crevice tools at multiple times, despite, you know, basically just depending on what machine they had. So I don't know if this came with this crevice tool, um, which came out like 2005, or if it came, or, you know, or this one was still being manufactured in 2005, or if it came with this crevice tool, which was manufactured in, I believe, started in 2004 with the CleanView 2, or because this specific Power Glide Platinum was manufactured in 2010, which was two years after this one came out, and after this Power Force has this style crevice tool, and after the Power Force Turbo that came out only within a few months of this one also has this same black crevice tool. So I don't know if 
Now, none of the photos that I've seen of this show the black crevice tool, so I would think it's one of these, but at the same time, I don't know if maybe that production uh, run that this one came from maybe had a black crevice tool. I'm going to guess not, because then it wouldn't match the height dial, so I'm going to guess it was one of these two, but I don't know which one. I would guess this one, because this one was also the one that came with the CleanView Helix, um, which was a current vacuum as of 2010, so I'm going to guess that it came with that, but I don't know. You know, I really don't know which one this is supposed to come with, so you know what, I'm going to put this one on there because this is the best crevice tool. Now, I need to find more of these, because I need more of these gray crevice tools to match the machines. So if anyone knows where I can buy more of these specific types of crevice tools, I can't find, I mean, I can find stock, but I don't know if it's this specific one, or if they're going to send me a different, the different, the, the wrong crevice tool. So maybe I should just like, you know, try it and see... And also, I, going based off Bissell's website, they don't have the crevice tool in stock. In fact, under the Power Glide Platinum, it's not even listed as an available accessory or replacement part, which is really annoying because the combo tool is listed, but not this. It's really bizarre. So, which makes me think that these ones are out of stock. But I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put this one with it because, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one's supposed to go with it. But you know, I have all those different types. And then, of course, with my big green. With my big green, it comes with this stubby little thing, which is even smaller. And then there's two newer versions after this. There's, you know, the version that came out with the original uh, 7, 1700, something like that. The first uh, Power Force Helixes, um, or not, the first redesigned Power Force Helixes. So those came with this exact crevice tool, but it was colored in a dark gray instead of the gray or black. And then now, apparently some of those crevice tools are long again, and some of them are still this size now. I, I don't know. It seems to just be somewhat random. I think the bag power forces now come with a longer crevice tool, but I think the helixes still come with a shorter one. Which, again, is bizarre. I don't know why Bissell does that. I wish they'd honestly just go back to this style crevice tool, where it has the suction release valves and the notch. Because that's so much better. So, yeah, anyways, rant over, I'm not sure if there's really anything else to talk about this, but, you know, it looks good, I'm super happy to have it. The brush is yellow, uh, which is the proper color, which is the color that I needed for my CleanView Power Track, I never found a replacement that was that color, so I don't know if this is a replacement brush roll, or if that the original one was just cleaned really well. Because it looked it looks brand new, so or it looked brand new in the video that he shot right before he ran it. Because obviously, once you use it, it's not going to look brand new anymore. Also, this hose, I mean, this is kind of normal. This is actually like, pretty fine, but there's a really big kink in the hose. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it was already it was always like this, and I just never saw it in the video. I mean, I can't. I'm not going to give Fan of Vacuums Two any crap for this because. Regardless, even if even if it, this was disclosed, I would have bought it anyways. So I'm not complaining, and it's really not it's not a big deal at all. It doesn't seem to restrict airflow that much, you know. So if at all, really, I mean, I it's fine. Um, and at some point, I can always buy a replacement hose if it really bothers me. And I also checked the hose from the Big Green does fit. So if I wanted a stretch hose that was a bit newer, I could put the one from the Big Green on this if I really wanted to. I, and I did for a little bit, but then I put this back on for this for this part of the video. Keep in mind, I just got this. So now we're going to uh, plug it in and turn it on. So this is the first time I'll be turning this on officially. Let's clip this in. There we go. Move this extra cord out of the way. It's on the medium setting, so we'll see. This is like a fairly thin carpet, so we'll see. So, anyways.
some of you will probably comment on that wind down noise and like the wine, like the wine that it has, uh, no pun intended based on the color, but the wine that it has or like the high pitched noise that it has whenever it's running. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know if that's something that I can even fix because obviously um, Jonathan, like whenever he refurbishes, or I think I think it's his brother actually, I think, I think he said it's his brother that specifically does the refurbishing on these. Either way, whoever refurbishes these, you know, does like a more thorough job than I could ever do with these machines. So, you know, and someone also commented with that with the Clean V2 Deluxe. I don't think there's any way to make the motor sound any better. Uh, as far as far as I'm aware, like you know, there's no, there's nothing that I really know of that would get would get rid of that noise, and it doesn't really bother me. Like you know, I obviously I could tell from the video what it sounded like, and I had no problem buying it anyways. And of course, down the road, um, as I consolidate my collection more and I get some extra spending money, I can always just get a new motor and pop it in there and completely alleviate any and all possible problems with that. Um, and that's the same story with like all the clean views, uh, like the power track I'm not keeping, but that the 89, uh, 75, that one I will be keeping and that has a really bad motor in it. So that is a machine where I really do just need to replace the motor. Whereas this and the clean view two, I can very easily deal with whatever little, little sound hiccups it might have. And of course it, in, in any of the cases, it doesn't affect the performance of it. I, 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 in fact, I just, I just randomly thought, you know, what if that uh, motor sound is because of the kinked hose? I mean, I doubt it, but I mean, maybe if I, maybe if I unclick this hose, maybe we'll see if that, I don't know, just a random thought I got in my mind, but we'll try that, so we'll unclip that, and... <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, I didn't think that would have any effect, and it doesn't. But like I said, you know, I, and and even in the case of the Clean V2, like, I actually didn't notice any different, like, any negative difference in sound. Only reason I even brought it up was because some some of you guys actually commented and said, hey, this sounds weird. What's wrong with it? And people said the Clean V2 Deluxe sounded like a chainsaw, which I don't understand because they clearly haven't seen the earlier Clean Views. Which literally did sound like a frickin' chainsaw, so, you know. Or, or like the, the Power Force Turbo, that again, sounded like a chainsaw because of the bad brush roll it had in it. So, I'm not worried about that, but the biggest thing is that I got it. It works fantastically, if that's a word. Obviously, it has great suction. Obviously, the brush, like, I, I could feel the brush roll on my feet, and I'm wearing shoes. So, you know, the brush is really good in this. And of course, you know, yeah, I was missing the attachments, but it has the most expensive one, and I have all the other attachments anyways. Like I said, now that I have this, I will be selling the 3537. Um, well, I will likely, I shouldn't say I'm going to, because obviously I have other machines I want to sell first before I sell the 3537. Um, you know, and of course, since I have spares of the extension one, the crevice tool, the only thing this will be missing is the combo tool. I need to order another one of those or find some more stock of that, of the combo tools. Well, actually, not really, because all my machines that I'm keeping have combo tools, with the exception of the 3522-R. So, I, since I do have spare extension wands, and actually, I think, oh, do I have a spare crevice tool? I don't, I know I have uh, there is an extension wand on there, so Caleb, if I find an extra combo tool and crevice tool, I'd like to just get like a, a lot of a bunch of them, then I'd like to get some extras so that way my machines can have it, the ones I'm selling can have it, and of course whenever I get you this machine it'll have it. But right now it just has the extension wand, and this one has extension wand and crevice, well, then again, I just realized, it says the crevice, oh. here. There we go. Caleb, you can have that crevice tool. So, then it'll just be missing the combo tool, which those are only five bucks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this acquisition of the Bissell Power Glide Platinum. And uh, but since this video is pretty long, it probably won't, you know, it'll take, it probably won't upload till earlier tonight. So obviously you know what demo is coming up next. The Bissell Easy Vac. <laughs> and then after the Bissell Easy Vac, the Power Glide Platinum. I might do. I might do one or the other. I'm not sure. Um, either way, those two will likely be the next demos, since those are the two machines I still have to demo, along with the, the Dash Five. But like I said, I'll demo that once I get the HEPA bags. 
So, but yeah, anyway guys, this is my newest acquisition. The Bissell Powerglide Platinum. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.